Hey guys, what's going on? J. Steve here back in the flesh. Just got off of work today and your questions are in. So we got the top 10 questions today of Acts of Pharmacy Technician. Thank you guys for sending these questions. It looked like I can start making this an actual segment. I don't know if I actually did this last Tuesday or last Wednesday, but I try to give everyone a chance to get these questions in and that way I can have enough questions to just keep on going and actually keep a segment going. So without further ado, let's jump into some of these questions real quick. And guys, remember, if you don't see a question, it's not that I don't get it. It's just that I'm saving them for the best or trying to use them for material. Sometimes when you work, you know what I mean, my creative juice is not always flowing and it's good to kind of like revert back to something that I start with and answer these questions. So thanks for sending the question and please keep sending them in. This actually helps me in my video. I'm trying to put one out every day. So, you know what I mean? If I can get a lot of questions, I can do a segment and that kind of just keep me motivated to do stuff. And if you like the video, thumbs up. And I'm not going to beg anyone to subscribe, but if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome because I, you know what I mean? I'm not telling no lie. I, I can use subscriptions. So, hey, why not? All right, so let's jump into these questions real quick. Phone just turn off. So these are the top ones that I see that kind of answer a couple of the questions. And also what I do, I try also keep the questions from last the, the last three weeks to make sure that if someone asks the same question, if there's a different way I can answer it, I'll go ahead and re-answer the question. But if almost like I touched on it already, I try to keep the same question. So guys, I'll try to put a link of all the questions in each video, link into each videos. So that way, if you think your question might not be answered, you can just scroll down to the description of the video and hit the link button and they probably take you to a video that actually have some of the questions answered. All right, so this is going two minutes. I'm trying to keep it in five. Let's see if we can get it done. All right. How many CE do you need? Okay, so it seems like when someone knows a little bit about pharmacy or a little bit about the word CE. CE, for anyone who doesn't know, is continued education. Now, I've talked to a midwife before, Molly Putz, what's up? And CE to her meant something different. I think it also means something different, but I know for me it's just called, um, I can't think of the top of my brain, because I'm, I'm actually doing this live, I just got a question, I'm doing it right away. Um, so for CEs, continuing education, we do 20 um, every two years. Um, as far as I know, for me in Maryland, the first the first year they let you do 10, the, um, the board still wanted, the Maryland board wanted 10, P, PTCB, wanted 20 still um so but then after your two years you're you're after that first first year of the license then you will do 20 every two years and that's maryland i don't know if other state does it differently but i know P ptcb does it the same regardless of what state because that's a national but maryland wants 20. how much does it cost to renew and i'm guessing they're thinking about license so it costs 40 a piece um maryland state License was 40, and the PTCB was 40 as well. This year I had to pay an extra $25 because I did a late registration. How long do you train on the job? Okay, that's a good question. Um, depends on how, how fast the tech learns. Um, most jobs I think give you 90 days in every different position, but I think if they see you excel fast, they'll kind of try pushing to different stuff. So I'll say 90 days. What kind of uniform do you wear? That's a good question. So we wear scrubs. And I and I think this person was asking not because they don't know that hospital people wear scrub because it's a generalized question. So in retail, you probably wear whatever the store uniform is. I know for Walmart, it was a blue top khaki bottom. Um, for the hospital, we wear scrubs in choice of colors. It's chocolate. I've done seen some retails where they wear plain clothes, but they wear a vest. So they kind of keep everyone uniform. What subject were you good at? I'm thinking, I mean, high school or college. My favorite subject would be mathematics. So math, I was really good at math. Oh, okay, demographics. Okay, all right, so demographics are where I'm at. It's black, white, um, half and half between females and male. Um, I would say in retail for me, it looked like the demographic was more females than male. Um, every store that I visit for Walmart, you seem to have more females doing it. And even still in the hospital, you seem to still have more females as technicians. 
Pharmacy is everybody. I mean, male, female, um, most nationality, everything is there. But tech-wise, I, I would say definitely there's a lot of male techs, but I feel like a lot more female might be at your store doing it. All right. This one of the hardest code. Okay, so we have a lot of codes, and a lot of codes are hard because we, 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 we take care of every code as a same code in terms of like we don't treat one code less than one. But in terms of I had to pick a code, I'll say bat, brain attack team. That's one of the hardest code. And what I'll do is I'll make a note so we can talk about that because I'm like five minutes and 42 seconds. I'm trying to keep it short for you guys. Um, nicest, car in, <laughs> nicest car in campus. One of the docs actually had an Audi R8. Yeah, and, and the funny thing is, he had it around the same time when we first saw an Iron Man. So, yeah, a black one. And our, I remember he always parking on the side of the road. And um, he actually complimented my Camaro one day and I asked him what happened to his R8. And he's like, oh, it was so hard to get into his back hurt. But um, that's the nicest car I would say that I've seen on our campus was an, an Audi R8. How many floors are in your hospital? Five. Um, from what I understood, before I got hired there seven years ago, way back it was it stopped at four floor and it added the last one. So there's there's five floor, and we don't, as far as I know, have a basement. I mean, the engineer has a basement where the hot water pumps and everything's are down there. But I know a lot of people say pharmacy are normally stuck in the basement, but we're on actually on the first floor, so. We have five floors in our hospital. All right, guys. Um, I'm one, two minutes over. So, But thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions of the questions that I answer, you want me to elaborate, send me an email. Um, and I can um, write you back, elaborate on some of the questions I answer. Please keep the questions flowing. Please keep them coming. Um, it'll, I can try to make this a segment. So I really like the question coming. Thank you, guys. And also, watch my video from this morning. I think it was a little bit of venting and stuff like that. Letting pharmacy technicians know that you guys are appreciated. And I will put the link in. And I promise I'll have a couple more interviews coming up. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Have a good night. Bye.